father, glory of the Roman Empire. This is the expedition I have been training for in the last several weeks. I shall now go and explore the nearby lake Durankulak. And if possible, I shall retrieve some goods from these foreign lands. <laughs> Quickly, the Roman expeditionary force has reached the forest next to the sea and is continuing on the way forward. The Roman expedition shall now turn to this little forest path until it reaches the blue waves of the Pontus Euxinus. And soon enough, in front of us, spreads the beautiful view of the raging and foaming waves. From horizon to horizon, the expeditionary force shall now descend upon the sands of this foreign land and explore the barbarian coast. On the way to the sea, the Roman expedition encounters an omen. One branch of a tree completely caught in the strange webs of foreign caterpillars. Its meaning, as of yet, remains inexplicable. With this in mind, the expedition continues. And thus, Rome's expeditionary force has reached the barbarian coast. The most distinguishing feature of any barbarian coast is obviously the presence of the barbarians. Thinly clad wild men and women exposing their bare skin to their sun god. Are they friendly? Will they be allies to Rome? Or will they contribute to rich slave markets after the legions conquer the land? It is as of yet unknown and the expedition continues north. The main barbarian base, the encampment at the beginning of this coast, we have left far behind us. Rome has encountered new territories with barbarians who live in tents not unlike the Bedouins of Judea, Arabia and Syria. We shall continue pushing forward in the heat of the sun and in the salty air wettened by the raging waves. As we are approaching the end of the known world, the area is becoming less and less densely populated by the barbarians, while the barbarians themselves become more and more thinly clad, some even entirely nude. That is not right. <laughs> Apparently, the barbarians have erected a totem to the honor of their gods. Or perhaps they hope with its help to bring peace to the raging sea. Whatever its nature and purpose, the expedition shall continue ere I am caught in a human sacrifice. No matter how far the expedition continues, I am finding further and further encampments of the barbarians. Indeed, even the rests of a rare sea monster seem to be there. 
throw a glance on it, Roman citizen, and behold the marvels of these foreign lands. What must this be? The claws of a whale? The jaws of a hippopotamus? Or perhaps a chunk of wood? No, I'll go with the claws of the whale. This forsaken place Derelicted by gods and demons alike. Decorated with rests of barbarian art. And with abandoned camps of the naked people. Marks the most northern spot of the known world. Way over there. At this southern tip, our journey along the beach began. And now, after one hour, after the beginning of this expedition, we shall finally turn to explore the foreign lands of the north and the mythical lake that lies beyond them. Foaming waves and nothing but foaming waves. The barbarian encampments reach far. But nearly no soul is here to disturb the wild peace of nature. Far have we reached, and the Senate and the people of Rome can be proud of us. In these blue seas, commonly one can find only beauty, but at times one finds the occasional sea monster. And never underestimate the pleasure of a Roman to poke, 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 poke an ugly dead squid. <laughs> what strange gods watch over the lands that the barbarians have erected for them. This Tolos. beyond the mind of a civilized man to imagine what it might be. But perhaps it is a sacrifice to some sea god in the hope of gaining more fish. Behold, the land of the seabirds. We must be close. Close to the mythical lake. Where nymphs Bath in gold and dragons bring corals on the bottom. The mythical spot has been reached. Behind me, behold the lake Durankulak. And on my other side is the Pontus Euxinus. We have left far behind the original lands of the barbarians. But even here, in the middle of nowhere, we are still not entirely free of their encampments. Our journey shall continue. And we shall see what we can do for the glory of Rome. A strange and swampy limes, which the barbarians seem to have created here. The 
this is nothing to stop a Roman expeditionary force. One more barbarian monument. And I'm completely alone. I love being perfectly alone. <laughs> I think I have never reached quite that far. Over there, far, far away. Not even sure you can see this. With the beginning of the beach. <laughs> and now I shall continue on this way. Well, let's see how far I'll get. <laughs> Very entertaining. We can see some barbarian doing barbarian things. And perhaps trying to construct some form of a primitive hut. Now here, in the middle of nowhere, and this car does not seem that it's going anywhere in particular. And I hope the good people are going to handle it. But yeah, it must be a little bit adventurous when that happens, you know, sort of here. Now I was truly starting to wonder how it comes that I am encountering more and more of the unclothed barbarians even though my base of operations is on this end over there yeah that little dot there is the beginning of the expedition and the reason for this seems to be that i have reached the next settlement which seems to be something called camp cosmos I shall now go up to that cape. I'm exploring the location of the barbarians. It is nicely set up. In particular, it seems to have a nice children's playground. It is an interesting idyllic place somewhere totally in the middle of nowhere <laughs> indeed i guessed correctly this is called camp cosmos the camp itself the camp itself seems to be rather well equipped and there seem to be both places for caravans and cars and little bungalows everything is in good order and here seems to be some sort of little harbor with boats it is all nicely fenced and there seem to be a few shops and restaurants i think it will be an interesting place to be here i might recommend it to friends let us see as I am walking my way up to the Cape I saw these here I mean look at this these have got to be the dumbest stairs in the history of mankind I mean how are you supposed to get up there? I wanted to find something interesting and well it looks like I did over there it is written that there is a project for the reconstruction of a Thracian fishing village named Bria and that it is presently in phase one. So let's have a look around here and see what one may find. I see no fishing village but I haven't seen such electrical masts since I was a little boy at my granny's village. <laughs> Honor to the Senate and the people of Rome, for I have discovered a new end of the world. I invite you to behold and marvel at its wilderness.
There is honor in that. For what else can an expedition hope to discover but such a place? I thank you very much for being here with me today, for escorting me to this remote place. And in a moment I shall undertake my expedition back over here to the other end of the world. Meanwhile, I shall remain here for a moment and enjoy the wilderness. Thank you for coming. And I genuinely wish you to one day enjoy this place with your own eyes. <laughs> This Capricorn shall be erected in honor of this expedition. May it mark how far I have reached, thanks to the gods. May they give me the force to one day reach even further. And these indeed are the flowers of the end of the world. And such I shall take as souvenirs. <laughs> And just as I began my way back, I noticed my shoe has started falling apart. To quote the great Julius Caesar, Kai Sutekno. <laughs> you know, the nice thing about the beach here is that just behind the beach are these sand dunes. So realistically, the sea can never quite wash off the beach, for as soon as it does it, these sand dunes very naturally turn themselves into beach again. It is beautiful here, but out of these grasses can create something, and I shall try. Unfortunately, people lack culture and can be very dirty to the environment. And I will not lie, the problem exists, and I truly believe that not enough is done against it. Rather than that, Beach is infinite, huh? It's starting to feel like Lawrence of Arabia. But I have come a good part, and I shall continue there. And those seabirds, ah, hello seabirds. I'm coming, seabirds. <laughs> hello seabirds. <laughs> In the five hours of this expedition, Somebody seems unfortunately to have destroyed the Tolos. I hope those who erected it shall erect it again. Other than that, little remains. And much has been put behind it. The journey continues. The waves of the sea are raging, and time is flying. <coughs> oh, 
However, I believe there is always enough time to poke that squid, huh? Ah, poke, 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 that squid, poke, poke, uh, that squid, poke, poke. This was just used by children to play on. This is obviously rather macabre, as it clearly is part of a sunken boat. Well, the Pontus Euxenos is not to be underestimated. The stormy sea has overflown much of the beach and is in fact continuing to do so <laughs> and just wetting my own feet as I stand in front of it. This was a very nice expedition. I have reached again at the beginning of the beach. I shall now go up and return to the Roman camp. <laughs> well... Goodbye Black Sea. Goodbye for today. Stormy you are. On other days you're calm. It was a very pleasant adventure with you. I enjoyed it very much. So here I am, at the end of my six and a half hour adventure. It was not for nothing, for I got these specific grasses at the lake, which I need to do uh, Roman feathers, which I will then use for calligraphy. And this here, this trusty friend, saved me from two stray hounds, well, Al Capone was right, with kind words and a gun, you can't get further than just with kind words. I think that just about wraps it up. So, till the next adventure, see you, goodbye.